first let's have a wee look around the Audacity interface to show you what's here because I know that some people can find it slightly intimidating at first because there's quite a lot there when you first look but really there's not actually that much. I mean first we've got the tape player type deck up top left so simple pause, play, stop, skip and a big red record button so we'll be working with them a lot. Then we've got six tools that you can work with in Audacity. I'll go into these a bit more, some of them anyway, a bit more later. You don't need a lot of them, but the main one is this eye type shape. That lets you select things so that you can cut them, delete them, that type of stuff. You've got the double arrow tool, which lets you drag uh, clips around. And you've got this, it's called the audio envelope tool, which lets you adjust the volumes. Uh, but you don't even need that very much, really. That's the only ones you have to worry about. Moving across, we've got volumes here. As soon as we start playing something, you'll see the volumes pop up. Then we've got the actual volume selectors or adjustments. So we can change the recording volume by pulling that up and down. We can change the playback volume by pulling that up and down. Next line, really the only things we worry about here are the input and the output. So this drop down here lets you select which microphone you're recording in with. So I can choose my Q2U, which is the main recording mic on this system. Then we've got output. So this is playing currently to my speakers, but I can choose to go to say the Q2U output too. Finally, we've got this area here. That is where we see the audio files. I'll drag something in so you can have a look. So all I do to bring a file in here is drag it on. Uh, just go for OK there, and then you can see the audio file here. So you can see that that's where the actual audio files appear, and we can make them smaller. Uh, if I drag in another one, for example, bring that in, then you'll see that we can have a couple of tracks appearing at once. And that's when we can start to use these tools. Like I said, the selector lets you highlight things, delete them, uh, and the arrows let you drag things around to move them around. And then you've got the volume selector, like I said, you can actually adjust the volumes. We'll go into some of these a bit more later on, but much of them you don't need at this point. We want to keep things as simple as possible. But that is a two to three minute guide to the Audacity interface, just to give you an idea of what's where, and we'll begin into more detail about each of these things in a later video.